Hi everybody, Candace here with Greener Farms DIY. Today I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to make the I Love Social Distance face mask in the hoop. This is one of our new designs. So I'm just going to take you through the general assembly since it's a pretty quick stitch out. I'm starting with a 5x7 hoop. I have my design loaded and my reserve stops programmed in so that way I can do my Apple K portion for the I Love Social Distance medallion that's going to stitch out. I hoop my stabilizer and then with my fabric face up, I go ahead and I cover my entire hoop area with the fabric that I want to stitch. All right, so the first part is done now. Now we're gonna go on to do the applique portion for the I Love Social Distance um, medallion. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the applique portion. So I'm just using some of my um, American brand cotton, which is something that we do carry and sell at Greener Farms DIY. It's all made here in the United States, grown in the United States, and it's called our American uh, brand that we are a distributor of that's made here in the United States. So I'm going to go ahead and just applique this on. All right, now we want to go ahead and we want to applique this trim. So we're going to use our applique scissors. I like these. I'm just going to trim all the way around. I went ahead and trimmed it with my scissors all the way around. The satin stitch is going to cover up the edges. But first it's going to go through and it's going to stitch all the words out. All right, we're all done stitching out the front side of the first half. So this will be one side of the face. And now we're gonna go on to do the other side. And it's actually pretty darn simple. We use these fabric sheets. Um, we do sell these on our Etsy store as well. We do a, a bundle pack of 75 um, fat 16th for a really reasonable price. And they're perfect for doing the front sides of all of these masks. And so all we're going to do is we're simply going to Flip over the other half of the fabric. I'll take this out of here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just covering up all of the stitching lines. And I'm going to put it back in. We're going to let that final stitch go all the way around the edge of the front contour. portion is done and you can see it has that nice contour it brought both of the sides together and all I'm going to do is just take it out and I'm just going to flip it over where I can see my pattern and I'm just going to trim all the way around right on the edge of that sew line that embroidery line And once you do one, it's super fast. Now you have the option to um, do the lining the exact same way, 
there's um, a pattern in there for the lining that does not do the embroidery medallion and it goes super fast but what I like to do is just hand cut it and you can do it at the exact same time that you were trimming this out just by putting your two pieces together so you're just going to be laying this on top which is your pattern and you're just going to be trimming all the way around all right, so what I did is I went ahead and I cut the pieces for my lining. I'm going to go ahead and sew that with my sewing machine right now. I find that doing this part in the hoop is actually the best use of my time, the best use of my embroidery machine. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my um, sewing machine and I'm actually going to finish a couple more of the pieces, but I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. But it's beautiful on the outside. You got this nice little patch that's been sewn onto the mask and now I'm going to go ahead and straight stitch they're not straight stitch but um, sew right through here uh, that contour so that way it will match what I have as my outer edge fabric all right I went ahead and I top stitched um, the top of my mask so it's all nice and pretty and top stitched and then I went ahead and stitched this contour just like we saw on the inside here so that way I'm able to um, put my two pieces together and sew all the way around. So the way I do it is I open up my mask just like that so the little contour is there and then I take my lining and I open it up and I just place it right on matching up my edges all the way around. And then once I have it all lined up, I take it over to my sewing machine and I sew all the way around this mask. Um, I like to add my, my elastic and everything by cam snaps, but if you're gonna do that first, you're going to put them on the inside and then make sure that your ends are extending off and you catch it in your seam as you sew it. You wanna leave a little turning pocket so that way you're able to flip it inside out. All right, I went ahead and stitched all the way around, and so I left myself this little turning hole right here. So what I want to do, um, now that it's stitched all the way around, is I want to turn all of this fabric inside out. So I went ahead and I flipped it inside out, so that way um, it's ready to get its top stitch. Um, so I'm going to press it really good, and then I'm going to top stitch it. So I went ahead and I stitched all the way around and now I'm going to be putting my cam snaps on and the reason why I like cam snaps is I like to have um, these little when I'm doing my masks I like to have um, removable so they can go in the washer I remove all of my little my little snaps and so I, uh, I create these paracord or you can do this with this um, elastic and this just tensions my mask around the back of my head for a better fit. So if I'm wearing a ponytail or I got my hair up in a bun or anything like that, I don't have to worry about having one size um, with my elastic. I actually can adjust it because of these cute little adjusters that I have. And so I like to have mine removable. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the four corners of my mask. So I went ahead and got my snaps put on and I'm using the extra long cam snaps. They have the extra long prong and all I do is I snap my um, strap and it's a paracord strap with one of the adjusters on to each side and then it allows me to have a nice fit. So that's how I actually like to make mine um, when I'm doing my mask. But if you're one of the folks that like to have the ear elastic, you're able to do all of that before you attach your top and your bottom together. But that's as simple as this mask design is. It's super fun. It's done in the hoop. It's a ton of fun. I actually really enjoy making this one. I do like to sew a lot of it with my sewing machine. It actually goes quicker than doing all of it in the hoop. So I like to make the outer piece in the hoop and then I go to my sewing machine and do the rest of those steps because it just takes about a minute so it's very quick in the sewing machine but the only way to get this part done is to actually do it in the hoop and it's perfect I love it and it looks great when you're out and about in public because people are noticing you know you're wearing a mask and 
once they see if you can read this, you know, then they see social distance. They're about six feet away and they stay their distance. So I really enjoy it. Stay safe. Thanks for being a part of the Green Roof Farms DIY Facebook group. I appreciate you guys being a part of the group and purchasing this design. Without your purchases, none of this would be possible. Thanks so much, everyone, and stay safe.